celebrities' lives are like an open book, yet certain secrets remain. From hidden addictions to criminal pasts, these celebrities have managed to keep their secrets hidden from the public eye. Get ready to be shocked as we dive deep into the dark and secret lives of these famous individuals. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a countdown of the most horrifying celebrity secrets. Number 10. Audrey Hepburn Audrey Hepburn, widely recognized as a 1950s style icon and accomplished actress, had a secret life that few knew about. In her teenage years, she valiantly fought against the Nazis during World War II. When her parents moved her to Holland, hoping to escape the conflict, they didn't anticipate the brutality of the Nazi occupation. As a result, Hepburn was left to suffer from severe malnutrition when the Nazis cut off food supplies to the country. Despite the constant threat of being caught by the enemy, Hepburn risked her life to perform ballet in front of audiences who were terrified of the Nazi regime. These performances, known as Zwarte Avoden or Black Evenings, were a way for musicians targeted by the Nazis to earn money. To avoid being detected, the windows were blacked out, adding an eerie atmosphere to an already dangerous situation. Hepburn's bravery and determination in the face of adversity is a true testament to her character and a story that deserves to be heard. Hepburn's heroism during World War II goes beyond her courageous performances as a ballet dancer. After making money from her underground performances, she donated the funds to the Dutch Resistance, which used the money to help hide Jews in the Netherlands. Hepburn's audience at these secret shows was so afraid of being caught by the Nazis that they couldn't even clap at the end of her performance. Despite her own suffering from malnutrition and starvation, Hepburn also acted as a courier for American and British flyers shot down in the countryside, taking them messages and food. When faced with Dutch Nazi police approaching her in the fields, Hepburn's quick thinking saved her. Instead of panicking, she calmly picked wildflowers and presented them to the officers, who then let her pass. Hepburn's bravery and resourcefulness as a teenager are truly remarkable and serve as a testament to her character. Hepburn's bravery during World War II knew no bounds. In addition to her daring ballet performances, she also played an instrumental role in supporting the local resistance. To smuggle the band Orangekrant paper, she stuffed issues in her woolen socks and delivered them on her trusty bicycle. And when she harbored a British soldier in her home, she felt the thrill of adventure and heroism, despite the danger it posed. What's truly remarkable is that Audrey Hepburn was just a young girl when she embarked on these dangerous missions. Her unwavering bravery, willingness to take risks, and sense of duty to protect others is nothing short of extraordinary. Despite the horrors of war, Hepburn's secret life gave her strength of character and a legacy that will endure for generations to come. While Audrey Hepburn's wartime experiences were marked by bravery and sacrifice, there are other celebrities whose lives are shrouded in mystery and controversy. One such person is the late pop icon Michael Jackson. Number 9. Michael Jackson the late king of pop, Michael Jackson was a global sensation who stunned the world with his electrifying dance moves and chart-topping music. However, his private life was shrouded in mystery, and he went to great lengths to keep certain parts of his body hidden from public view, including his feet. Jackson's feet were his prized possession, and he always wore socks to conceal them. It was only after his death that the true state of his feet was revealed. His autopsy report revealed that they were severely deformed, possibly from the intense dancing he did throughout his life. They were calloused and appeared decayed, suggesting he suffered from great pain. Despite being adored by millions of fans, Jackson was deeply ashamed of his feet and never allowed anyone to see or touch them. He even resorted to self-medicating with painkillers to cope with the discomfort. Sadly, this addiction eventually led to his untimely death at the age of 50. While his doctor was held responsible, 
The root cause of his passing was his overwhelming need for privacy and the toll it took on his health. From the world of pop, let's jump into the world of art. Number 8. Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso, one of the finest painters to ever live, had a tough time connecting with others, especially women. Quote, There are only two sorts of women, goddesses and doormats, he famously stated. His personal life reflected this belief. Picasso originally loved Carlos's girlfriend, Laurie Germaine Gariago Pichot. Picasso had an affair with her, and Carlos committed suicide soon after. Picasso left Lori after a few months for another lady. Picasso had several troubled relationships with women. He fell in love with Eva Gould in 1911. Woman with a Guitar, his famous painting, was dedicated to Eva. Eva contracted tuberculosis, which was deadly in 1911, and she died months afterwards. Picasso left her in her final days for another woman, since why wouldn't a nice person? Picasso's first wife was Russian ballerina Olga Koklova. Picasso fathered Paolo with her. Picasso was possessive, aggressive, unfaithful, and a bully over the last five years of their 10-year marriage. They eventually split. Picasso then had an affair with 17-year-old Marie-Therese Walter. Picasso was 46. Picasso left her after falling for Dora Marr after nine years. Picasso abused Dora, causing depression and mental breakdowns. Later in life, she isolated herself. Then Picasso met Francois Gillot, who profoundly influenced his painting. They had Paloma and Claude. Once Gillot revealed her relationship with Picasso, he disinherited their children. Picasso's last love was Jacqueline Roquet. She became extremely protective of Picasso in his last years refusing to let his children attend his funeral. Picasso's relationships with women were turbulent, violent, and sad, despite his artistic talent. It's a harsh reminder that nobody, not even the most gifted and well-known, is immune to having their own set of problems. Among Picasso's family members and lovers, his mistress, Marie-Therese Walter, committed suicide. His wife, Jacqueline Roquet, committed suicide. His first son suffered serious depression and became alcoholic. His grandson committed suicide. His first wife, Olga Koklova, and his mistress, Dora Marr, succumbed to nervous breakdowns and became social recluses. All in all, Picasso was a total jerk. Now, going back to the Hollywood scene, here's Ron Howard. Number 7. Ron Howard Ron Howard, a former child actor who gained fame in the movie The Music Man and on The Andy Griffith Show, had a unique upbringing. When his acting career slowed down, his parents made the decision to enroll him in public middle school, where he experienced a difficult time dealing with bullies who made him feel insignificant. Despite these challenges, Howard eventually returned to Hollywood and secured roles in movies like American Graffiti and on TV shows like Happy Days ultimately becoming one of the most successful directors in the industry. Unlike many child stars, Howard managed to avoid the pitfalls of fame, never succumbing to drug addiction or needing to go to rehab. Instead, he refocused on his family, marrying his childhood sweetheart and building a stable and well-rounded life. This level of stability and success in Hollywood is a rare achievement and is often kept secret. From the film scene, let's enter the world of science with Albert Einstein. Number 6. Albert Einstein Albert Einstein, the renowned genius who made incredible contributions to modern science, had a love life as fascinating as his intellect. It all started when he moved to Switzerland and lived with Professor Winterler, whose daughter Mary captured Einstein's heart. However, when Einstein met Mileva Marek, the only woman in his university, he was smitten by her romantic personality and high IQ, even as she insisted on remaining unmarried in order to pursue her own scientific aspirations. As Einstein studied the theory of relativity, Mileva's exceptional skills in math and physics only deepened his affection. 
causing him to lose interest in Mary. The two went on to have a family together, but Einstein grew bored with Maleva's more conservative lifestyle after marriage. During World War I, Einstein fell ill and was cared for by his cousin Elsa Lowenthal, whom he ultimately fell in love with and divorced Maleva for. Despite his groundbreaking achievements in science, it's clear that Einstein's personal life was just as complex and captivating as his theories about the universe. Contrary to popular belief, Albert Einstein didn't rush into marriage with Elsa. In fact, he was torn between marrying Elsa or her daughter, for whom he also had feelings. Elsa was aware of his attraction to her daughter, but told him that she didn't mind as long as he respected her. Despite ultimately choosing Elsa, Einstein struggled with being faithful in marriage. He had an affair with his secretary Betty, and shockingly brought her home to live with Elsa. His letters reveal that Betty was just one of many women he had close relationships with during that time. But after Elsa's death in 1936, Einstein never remarried. Perhaps for him, the formula for love was even more complex than his scientific theories. The fascinating life and love of Albert Einstein prove that even the greatest minds can struggle with matters of the heart. Number 5. Kirk Douglas This one is particularly dark, so I am warning you ahead of time. Some of this is based on rumors, but everyone agrees that Kirk was a very bad person, a known womanizer, and a sleazebag. Kirk wrote in his autobiography that he finally stopped cheating on his wife of 60 years after he had a stroke when he was 80 years old. But there are a lot of dark and strange stories about Kirk Douglas floating around. Stories that go well beyond a mere life of hedonistic debauchery, as he portrays it, but are downright evil. Natalie Wood was just a teen when Kirk Douglas raped her. He invited her to his hotel room when he was a huge box office star, a fan favorite, and the press's darling. He was also very sexually aggressive and couldn't take no for an answer. He slept with dozens of young actresses, got many of them pregnant, and made them have abortions. Natalie Wood, who was only 16 at the time, was one of them. She was not only raped, but was also attacked so badly that she had to see a doctor because of the damage done to her insides. This almost cost her her job. Lana Wood, Natalie's sister, has promised to name the man who raped and ruined her sister's life, but only after the man has died. She is still afraid of Hollywood and the man's connections, since he was a hero of Hollywood's golden age. She hasn't said who it is yet because he is still alive. But what big Hollywood star with a bad reputation who was alive and famous in the early 1960s when Natalie Wood was raped is still alive today? Who? No one, that's who. Spartacus has lasted longer than any other star. Natalie died by drowning at a young age, so justice would have come too late. Now comes the really scary part. Douglas was involved in the disappearance of young starlet Jean Spangler, who was an actress. Her body was never found, but her wallet had a note that said, quote, Kirk, can't wait any longer. Going to see Dr. Scott. It will work best this way while Mother is away. Police thought that the note suggested that Spangler might be planning to have an abortion. Kirk Douglas called the police before he was even considered a suspect. And by doing that, he managed to make himself a suspect. Sadly, the body was never found. Jean Spangler's mother remembered that her daughter went out with an actor named Kirk, who often picked her up in his car. Kirk never came to the house, and Jean's mother never got a good look at him. There were no other suspects, no body, and no eyewitnesses. So Douglas walked free and went on to become a big star in the years that followed. The creepy thing about the whole case is that Jean Spangler looked a lot like the Black Dahlia murder victim from 1947. This has led a lot of people to think that the two murders are related and maybe the work of a serial killer. At the time, Kirk Douglas was married with two sons and his career was growing. If several young women came forward with illegitimate children, abortions, and rumors of affairs, his career could have gone downhill but they didn't come forward. Instead, they ended up dying. 
Kirk died in 2020 at the age of 103 and might be the Hollywood star with the darkest past. Hell, he might be an actual serial killer for all we know, because he can be linked to the death of at least one starlet. Of course, in those days, Hollywood was almighty, and the studio fixers would have taken care of everything before any real connections could be made. Number 4. Oprah Winfrey As a youngster, Oprah Winfrey was subjected to sexual assault and physical abuse. She was once beaten by her grandmother till she was bleeding only because she was playing with water. And she was then beaten again because she got blood on her clothes. Her grandmother's motive remained a mystery. She was raped and sexually assaulted while residing with her mother when she was only nine years old, which ultimately led to her becoming pregnant. Her newborn passed away two weeks after being born. Number three, Eddie Albert. Don't forget Eddie Albert, who was a traveling circus clown during the late 1930s, and a U.S. government spy tracking Nazi submarines in Mexico. At the ripe age of adulthood, he had already made a name for himself on Broadway. But when duty called, he eagerly joined the Coast Guard to serve in the war effort, only to be discharged a year later so he could ascend to a lieutenancy in the Naval Reserve. As fate would have it, he was at the forefront of the U.S. invasion of the island of Tarawa, seemingly just steering the landing craft. But this man was no ordinary sailor. He personally saved 47 Marines and oversaw the rescue of 30 more, all while dodging enemy fire like a seasoned hero. And if that wasn't impressive enough, he went on to star alongside Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday making them both bona fide undercover war heroes and badasses. If only they had recruited Christopher Lee, they would have scored a hat trick. Now, let's talk about Christopher Lee. This man was so humble about his military service that he simply brushed it off as doing some favors for his chaps in the special operations executive. But the truth, which he couldn't reveal due to the Official Secrets Act, was far more intriguing. Declassified service records suggest that either he was doing some seriously covert work for the SOE, or he was a part of the infamous Office of Ungentlemanly Warfare. This elite group went behind enemy lines to support resistance movements and even tracked down and interrogated Nazi war criminals while the war was still raging. With credentials like that, it's no wonder Christopher Lee went on to become a legendary actor and an icon in the entertainment industry. Peter Fleming, Ian Fleming's older brother and a successful writer of travel books, histories, and picturesque novels, like The Flying Visit, in which Hitler accidentally parachutes into a small English village wearing the uniform of a German field marshal, and has some funny adventures until he's caught by the British and sent back because no one believes him, is widely thought to be the basis for the James Bond character. Jumping to the world of Kung Fu, we have the king of Kung Fu himself, Bruce Lee. Number 2. Bruce Lee Bruce Lee, the undisputed king of Kung Fu, not only founded the innovative martial art of Jeet Kune Do, but also popularized the use of nunchaku worldwide. His action-packed movies, including Jing Wu Men, The Raptors Crossing the River, and Dragon Fighting Tiger, have garnered a massive following among cinema enthusiasts. With his unmatched combat skills, unyielding spirit, and rugged masculinity, Bruce Lee won the hearts of countless fans who idolized him. While Bruce Lee's magical hands packed an unstoppable punch, we can only imagine the pain and effort he endured to perfect his craft. The numerous calluses on his fists speak volumes about the relentless dedication he poured into his training. Even though he has now passed on, his legacy continues to inspire and uplift those who seek to follow in his footsteps in Kung Fu. Number 1. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe was an American actress, model, and singer who became one of the most iconic and celebrated figures of the 20th century. Despite her success and fame, she had a difficult and often tragic life. Despite her glamorous image and reputation for living a lavish lifestyle, Marilyn Monroe's life was marked by numerous struggles and challenges. 
From a young age, she faced a turbulent upbringing that involved being sent to an orphanage and shuffled between 11 different foster homes. Throughout her career, Monroe faced gender pay disparities, with her earnings paling in comparison to those of her contemporaries like Elizabeth Taylor. She also grappled with the loss of important people in her life, including her agent and romantic partner Johnny Hyde, and suffered multiple failed marriages and heartbreaking pregnancy losses. Despite her talent and undeniable star power, Monroe's personal struggles often impacted her work, resulting in her being fired from her final film and facing criticism for her erratic behavior and frequent tardiness on set. While these celebrities may have achieved great success and fame in their careers, their personal lives were filled with shocking and often disturbing secrets that were kept hidden from the public eye for years. It's a stark reminder that fame and fortune don't necessarily equate to happiness or fulfillment. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.